Hey guys, Brian with Buffalo Beer Reviews. Back with something I was able to find at uh, Premier uh, that I liked so much, I went and uh, got it the next day. I bought two more cans of this. And it's from Omnipalo, and it's their Fata Morgana. And it's, uh, it's an Imperial IPA that's uh, been quadruple hopped, quadruple dry hopped. Uh, this clocks in at, I believe this one's also 8% ABV with 100 IBUs. Um, there isn't really much of a description on this Fata Morgana quadruple dry hopped, but there is a regular write up on the regular uh, Fata Morgana. Uh, it's also 8%. Uh, and it has 100 IBUs, but the, the write-up is pretty much the same. It says, drawing inspiration from the fidelity of a Saison. Rustic, alluring, cloudy, and crisp, this Imperial IPA was brewed using oats and wheat, dry hopped twice and completely untouched post-fermentation to preserve aroma and flavor. So instead of just uh, double dry hopping, they quadruple dry hopped this one. But I was extremely impressed by the characteristics of that first can that I wanted to go get uh, it again to, you know, to kind of put on film. Yeah, and this thing survived the deep freeze in Buffalo all those weeks. So again, this is Omnipalo's Fata Morgana, the 2000, I think this is technically the 2018 line. There isn't any, um, uh, brewed in can date. So I haven't seen anything on the 2019 on untapped So I'm making an assumption that this might be the end of the 2018 line, but look at this. I mean, it's this extremely like You know nice popping yellow deep yellow uh, sort of body to it. You know what I mean? Well carbonated uh, the head uh, didn't really stick around for my first can either and it's not really sticking around now um, but man these aromas are making my mouth water. Yeah, it's uh, grapefruit and pineapple and that really kind of dry citrus sort of presentation here. Man, sweet smelling. Sweet, yeah, absolutely. Uh, smells like a packs of punch. Almost uh, kind of comes across as a, like a little dryish on the aroma even. If, if that makes sense. Do you know what I mean? But it smells potent and it smells wonderfully. I'm not going to lie to you. So let's see what this thing tastes like after all these weeks in my refrigerator. I think it's probably been about two and a half weeks, but let's see what it's like. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. You get a little bit more of the pineapple presence uh, right up front, and it's uh, it's like that over ripened uh, pineapple. You know, it, may, it might be a day or two uh, pa past. It's kind of getting that real soft. You know what I mean? And it it gives you these concentrated uh, aromas and flavors. That's kind of what it's bringing uh, with me. You get a little bit of that boozy sweetness along with the with the the flavors and stuff like that. But yeah, it's it's um, the the follow through is, is short. It's almost like a dry. I don't want to say a brute because I you know I have a couple in the refrigerator. It's not that dry, but it's on the drier side. Uh, what they quadruple dry hopped this with, uh, they didn't let us know. But it seems like it's all of the. Uh, I think it's all of the heavy hitters. Probably there's got to be. Uh, a galaxy and or a citra there's got to be something of that nature because it tastes wonderfully this is a it's a nice little tropical medley uh in this brew yeah a little bit more dankiness uh a, a lot more dankiness once you get your nose kind of down in there changes it ever so slightly which is nice No, this whole experience is super enjoyable. Um, 
you get a name like Omni Paolo who doesn't really, um, you know, I don't think they have a huge sort of distribution to the Western New York area. Uh, and then, you know, they I did, uh, I had one beer that was a, a collab with Evil Twin, doing nice things, making nice beer, and then I, I finally found this, and I couldn't say no. And I'm really happy I took a chance on it because the quality is really nice. Um, I'm, I'm sure if you are out and about and you can see the, the double hopped, uh, dry hopped one, this is the quadruple. I think either one uh, you find is gonna be enjoyable. Uh, excuse me. I'm getting ever so bits of earthy, flowery greenness. Uh, it's not dank, it's not, uh, it's not floral. Um, and it's not piney. It's just like this general earthiness to it. Uh, I think it plays nicely with the concentrated citrus uh, vibe up front. Um, it is on the drier side. It finishes clean, um, ever so slightly sticky uh, in the mouth and the coating and the aftertaste. Um, it's that oily pineapple, really overripe pineapple vibe on the tongue. Even on the burp, it's got this weird sort of uh, citrus fruit burp. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, 8%, uh, yeah, I think this is, uh, it's it's not super hidden. Uh, you're gonna tell that you're drinking an 8% here. Uh, the 100 IBUs also, you know, when you don't always get to see these IBUs rated so highly. Uh, yeah, I think the 8% and the 100 IBUs, uh, I don't think those are, you know, even attempted to be concealed and that's okay. Uh, you know exactly what you're drinking here. Um, and it's really good though. I think the 8% did me in pretty nicely the first can that I had. Um, I'm super stoked that I got this. I still have a can of it. Uh, I gotta shoot it over to uh, the guys at One-Eyed Cat for uh, giving me those beers. Um, other than that, yeah, this is a this is a total rebuy. Um, I'll be exploring more, I think, more beers with the Omnipalo name. Um, I was really, I'm really impressed by it. So that's it uh, for me, guys. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell, but this isn't gonna be a hard beer to finish. This will be super enjoyable. Uh, with that being said, I probably am going to sip on it because of the heft. But other than that, that's really about it. I really appreciate you guys watching and uh, all good uh, vibes coming my way. Um, I do appreciate it. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.